Oh. This is the gold <laughs> I'm kind why this kind of scares me. This is the gold standard, man. Holy blood flow restriction kit. So Ziad and I finish up our interview and he goes, you ever done BFR? And I said, no, I've never done BFR. I've seen it where you work at like a fraction of your actual intensity and mm -hmm. get like the same you exact result. Absolutely crushed. So what's the whole, what's the whole goal behind BFR? So the goal behind it is to be able to impart training loads on people without actually loading them. This is a way to, to get people to, um, to load to the point where it's almost, almost like they're frying them, but they're only working at 20% of their RM. Right. So, so basically you take the stress off the joints, take the stress off of the musculature, but you're still working them to the point where we get physiologic ad adaptable changes. Ah, oh, this sounds great. Yeah. So what the heck is this? So this is uh, the Delphi unit. It's by Owens Recovery Science. So they're the, they're the head honchos in the BFR world. So they're the ones that are, that are pushing research and they're pushing um, how to use this properly and, and all of the different ap applications that we have with BFR. They're, the, they're the, the leaders in this field. BFR is blood flow restriction. This is fairly new. And so what body part are we gonna do? We're gonna do your, we'll do your thigh. I was hoping we do the penis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't <have> <laughs> like, oh, cuff that small, dude. Come on, bro. I was trying to do that. Okay, so wait, what are we doing? Thigh? Thigh. So it's going to go right around your thigh. So we'll do some. And you can kind of pick whatever you want to do. So we can do some squats. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. Whatever you tell You tell me. You're the boss, dude. And that's usually number one to do squats. Okay. Ah. Oh. Hear that? I'm the first person to use Ziad's uh, BFR. So we're going to hook up the thigh. And like he said, we're gonna, obviously it's a really, really light load. My max is like, my, my max is only 20 pounds. So we're gonna be loading about two pounds. We're gonna grab the pink dumbbells. You guys like the glasses today? Do I look more intellectual with the glasses, like the glasses. and the sunburned the, forehead? The glasses without the, without the beard, it's a good look for you, man. Yeah. I know I didn't even recognize myself when I, my shape. I gotta pee really quick. Yeah, go for it, man. You're gonna sit on here. With whichever leg you wanna put it on. Uh, let's do left. So the leg will be straight on the, on the bench. Okay, uh, how many squats am I doing? You're gonna do 75 squats. So the scheme is 30, 15, 15, 15. With a little break in between. Got it. This is the left leg up. Left leg up. This will go around. Your thigh. Ooh. Showing this off. is nice. <laughs> oh, this looks intense. First time, BFR. This is my first time using this machine. Nothing better than being a guinea pig, dude. We're cutting off which artery right now? So we're cutting off just the, the main, the femoral artery is the big guy, but we're just cutting off the main supply to the whole lower extremity. So essentially what it is, is it's a, um, it's restricting oxygenation to like the musculature, like a simple way of saying it. And so like, your, your, basically your body thinks that it's not getting enough oxygen. And so it starts sending, it starts sending like growth factor and all, all, all of the, like it, it kind of sends everything to the area to kind of help because it senses that you're not getting you're not getting blood flow and you're not getting oxygenation to the muscles. And so then they perceive themselves as working significantly harder. All right, so try to just be nice and relaxed, nice and still. So this is gonna measure your occlusion pressure. This is gonna measure how much we need to get it occluded. Measuring my occlusion pressure. My mom said to always occ occlude people. So this is basically trying to find what your 100% occlusion is and then we're gonna work off of that. Find 100%, then we're gonna actually include 80% while you're doing the actual movement. It, it gets pretty snug. That's snug. All right, so that is your occlusion pressure. And that, so now what we're gonna do, so you can go ahead and stand, is you're gonna do, when it says go, it's gonna actually count for you. And when it says go, you're gonna do 30 squats. Okay, you ready? Okay, ready. When it says go, you, so once it kind of simmers down and it settles, then you can start going. All right, go ahead. Doing 30 of these. My tempo good? Tempo's good. There's 10. Yeah, keep counting for me, buddy. 14. 14. You got this. And so the thing I like about this unit, that's 20, is that it actually changes the pressures as you're going up and down, which a lot of other units don't do. Definitely feels snug. It's super snug. Yeah. Not uncomfortable though. I thought it would be like uncomfortable. 
It's definitely snug. Go? Go. 30 again? 30 again. And if you're fried after this, that's my fault. I'll take the uh, We should be fine. I'll take the yellow. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, yeah, I can feel Ten. it burning, actually. 11. 12. We'll see if you get this. Some people actually get like some redness in their legs too. 14, 15, 16, 17. I could feel it. 18, 19, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 26, 27. Yeah, it's burning. 28, 29, and 30. Shiza. Oh. It's a 30 second rest now. It's gonna stay occluded. I know. Fook! It's gonna stay occluded so you get 30 Fook seconds. Me. Okay. Stay occluded. I know. Fook! It's gonna stay occluded so you get 30 Fook seconds. Me. Okay. Once it once it hits, it's gonna start again and you're gonna do your 15s. So 15, 15, and I'll give you another break. Holy shit! <laughs> Z! Z! Bro, I can barely put weight on it. 30 again? Yeah. 15 now. 15, 15. 15. Once it hits, so wait until it goes to zero. Let me know if it's too much. No, this is good. I'll be fine. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Holy shit. Five, six, just focus on the number. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Uh, All right, break. Shoes in my feet. Oh. You got two more rounds of 15. Oh, bro. I feel like, no, I feel like Ronnie Coleman. Not ready yet. Any red oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that's, in, that's intense. It's intense, man. And this is no, so this is, this is the effect you get. There's no load. But it still feels like just, it's just putting weight on it I feels like it's on a t it feels like there's 300 pounds on my back that's probably 15 15 more uh, what is that three mm -hmm. four five six seven and heaven eight nine ten do it again eleven 12, nothing rhymes with 12. 13, 14, 15. All right. yeah. Oh! One more round. I lied, it was only eight minutes instead of 15 minutes. That was nice. Like right now, I can't, if I just put weight on it, what the f Wow. And this is no load, no nothing. It's just body weight spots. Whoever creates this for the penis, <laughs> this is a seller. This is a best seller. And now 15? You're gonna do 15 when it hits zero. This is the last one though. Okay, I got it. Holy crap. Okay. For the gram. All right, here we go. For the gram, for the gram. Okay. Here we go. Easy. Feels good. Count, see, I need you to count. Six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, last set, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Oh, How'd that feel, Kyle? Great. No, it does. It's good. Yeah? Fuck. So what are, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on the BFR? Oh, that works. It feels like you're loading. It just feels like if you got like 200 something pounds, you just do a shit ton of partials, but you get there with no weight. Oh, it's and releasing. How's the leg feeling? Jacked, feels pumped. I feel like I got Ronnie Coleman legs right now. Oh, putting weight on it is doable. Oh, that's tough. Going into flexion. Oh yeah. Is it off? It's loose. It's loose now. Yeah. Damn. Last set. 12, what the fuck? 13. Whoa. The implication of if they were do, if they were just had an ACL tear. Yeah. And they can't put 250 pounds on that. Yeah. Think of the, the actual like pump we can get them without being able to actually put weight on it. Yeah, the quad just feels full as hell. That feels great. Feels good. You get a hell of a squat there too. You didn't think, or a hell of a sweat. <laughs> yeah, seriously. 
rehab standpoint, people who have post-op the surgeries, they can't bear weight. So if you fracture your foot and you're not weight bearing for six weeks and you can't get any load through the actual tissue, this is where this comes into play because I can have them do like leg raises and I can have them do things on the table and they're gonna feel like you feel right now when you're doing this. <sighs> that feels good. That's my first time ever doing BFR. I've watched videos on it. I've watched lots of people do it. Never with this guy. Never with this device. That's the bad boy. That's the, the best of the best. And that was 75? You, you did 105, but technically oh, 75. That felt great. Honestly, that feels good. That, that, you know, I think a lot of times I tell people this sometimes. People are trying to get to a specific number. They say, Kyle, what, what's the best amount of repetition I should be doing? Or what's the magic number? It's not so much the number. It's stimulus. It's what type of stress is your body going to respond to? What variables do you have to change, whether it's BFR, your tempo, your range of motion, more time under tension, leveraging, bands. Work smart, work smart. It's not always absolute strength that's gonna help you grow. You can get a lot of hypertrophy done, you can grow without having to just go for absolute strength all the time. Amen. Absolutely. Dude, thank you, sir. Good work, man, good work. Oh. So you know when you get that mad pump, you gotta go through like, I don't know, the end of your workout, or like usually it's like 30 minutes in when your body's really peaking, you're feeling good. That was about two minutes of work. And my quad just feels extremely full. Like there's parts of my quad that it takes a while. I have to drive like a heavy sled or I gotta really drive the assault bike until I feel like crap. And that feels good. So how many sets? I mean, is this just a one one time thing? No, so you do it with, you can do different exercises. So this can actually, usually it's only on for 20 to 30 minutes at the most. So it, total time. Total time of a workout is like 20 or 30 minutes. So you have to you have to build up to that. So like I wouldn't, you just did four and a half minutes and you were like, yeah, like I'm dead. I think, I think at, at most I could probably handle th three sets, which would be three rounds, 16 minutes. Well, I would pick different exercises for you. So like the next one you would do would be like, you can do like a, a hinge with a light load. Or a lunge. Or a lunge. Or a step up. Or a step up, any of those things. You pick, so you do 30, 15, 15, 15 with the, each exercise. Gnarly. So you did 75 reps of each one. My man. Done. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again, KG. Rough to be buff TV. Ziad. Blood flow restriction. Yes, sir. It's the wave of the future, guys. If you found this video useful or you learned something, drop a like. If you're new around here, sub. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.